What's up guys, it's Matt here today, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a way to get better frames with your Oculus Rift. Now with a lot of us, we don't necessarily have the money to build an amazing computer, but we decided to pick up the Oculus Rift anyways. Now there is a few ways of combating this, one of course being buying better equipment, but there's also another way to do it. Now the way to achieve that is by using something called the Oculus Debug Tool. Now the Oculus Debug Tool has many features to offer, some of which we're going over today are the pixels per display override, the visible HUD, a synchronous space warp, otherwise known as async space warp, and the frame drop indicator. Now we're going to start with a synchronous space warp. What that will allow you to do is force 45 frames per second on your Oculus Rift, which will allow you to have a smoother gameplay. Now without this, your frames can potentially jump around and that will cause a lot of jumpiness and lag. Now if you force ASW, it will force your computer to do as many frames as it can as long as it sticks to 45 frames. Now if your computer is still getting below 45 frames and you are forcing it, then I suggest you go ahead and spend the money and get a PC upgrade. And then if you're still having the same problem, then come back to this video. Now if you have a good PC, you can potentially leave this on auto and not have any problems. Now the next thing we're going to worry about is the pixels per display override. What that allows for is to increase, uh, like it says, the pixels per display. Uh, uh, this will allow for a much more clear uh, gameplay as seen here. There's a definite difference. It really sharpens up letters and numbers and allows you to read a little bit better. Now what I recommend is starting off with 1.5 and then working from there. Now there's not much of a difference between 1.5 and 2.0 and at this point you are really taxing your rig. So yeah, start at 1.5 and then if you experience problems you can bring it down. Now this is only if you are getting a good frame rate already. If you are having to force uh, synchronous space warp, then I do not recommend doing this as it will slow your PC down even more. Now the other settings I am going to cover are the settings such as visible HUD. Now within this, there is three different settings. There's performance, stereo debug, and layer. I sometimes put on performance. Uh, if you are checking to see if it's really taxing your GPU, go for performance. And then when you put that set on, as you guys can see, it shows you a display to show you your frame rate and a bunch of other things. Now the other thing I'm going to talk about is the frame drop indicator. Now what that allows for is every time you have frames that drop below, I believe it's a specified amount of 90, you will get a frame drop indicator. Now within the visible HUD, you have different modes. You have the performance summary, latency timing, app render timing, compositor render timing, and async space warp status. Async is another word for asynchronous space warp. That is all for today, guys. I hope I could help you in some way. If I could, don't forget to leave a like, maybe consider subscribing, and share this video with friends. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys got, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.